So you wanna up your retail game on Instagram? Well, who can blame you with over 1 billion monthly users on the platform? It's become an essential vehicle for brand recognition and product promotion. At one point, you were only able to create links to your e-commerce listings by creating a paid advertisement, which unlocked the ability to add a direct link in your Instagram post. Now, this is still a great way to generate sales from your own viewers and well beyond as the paid promotion will be served up to a whole new audience targeted specifically to your demographics. But for those of you who already have a great organic following and want to try to build a greater call to action from within your posts, a new feature called product tags has been added to the Instagram platform. To take advantage of this feature, you need to fulfill a certain criteria, which includes the following. You need to have a Facebook business page, you need to link that page to your Instagram account and you need to create a Facebook store. So for best results, your Facebook store should link out to your products that might be on an e-commerce platform such as WordPress, WooCommerce, Shopify or BigCommerce. Now this allows your customers to transact online with the greatest amount of ease. For those of you who don't have an e-commerce presence, you can still set up a Facebook store and set the option to contact you via Messenger to request purchase information. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through all four components of setting up your Facebook store, right through to adding product tags on Instagram. Keep in mind that there are many ways to set up a Facebook store. There are APIs that allow you to directly feed in your full range of products into the store, which makes a lot of sense for larger companies who carry a lot of inventory. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the easy way to just add a few products via manual linking, just so that we can get to the core of the tutorial, which is creating the Instagram post with product tags. So without any further delay, let's get right onto the demonstration. So as I mentioned earlier, before we can get Instagram to tag a product, we do in fact need to ensure that we have a Facebook page that is not only connected to our Instagram account, but is also a business page. And then we need to go ahead and set up the shop. So whatever is in this shop will be available to us within Instagram. So I've got an example page that I've set up here and you'll see on the left hand side, there's a number of menu items. And the third one down is the shop menu. Once I click on this, I'll be prompted to agree to the merchant terms and policies. Once you do this, there'll be one more question and that's to decide which checkout method you'd like people to use when buying products from your shop. The first one, as I said before, is the simplest where if you don't have any online presence, so you don't have a store that's actually selling products via an e-commerce platform, you can use the simple message to buy option, which lets people send you messages to ask questions and then arrange purchases. So if you don't have an e-commerce store, select that one. The next one is probably the most common one and the one that I'm sure most of you are gonna use, which is to check out on another website. So by selecting this option, you'll send people to another website to complete their purchase. And this will function either within Facebook directly or in Instagram via this product tag post that we're going to create. Once you've done this, if you head over to your shop section, you'll see there's an option to add a product. It's a large plus icon with the words add product beneath click on that, and then you'll have the ability to upload either photos or videos to represent your product. You can give your product a name, set a price. If it's a sale item, you can select this product is on sale, and then you'll notice there's a drop down for both the price and the sales price. You can then go ahead and enter the full description of your product, and the most important part, the link that I was referring to earlier to your external e-commerce store goes into the checkout URL. And finally, you'll select the share this product on your page option. And this will ensure that the post is automatically shared to your page's timeline as soon as it's approved. So when you create new products in Facebook, it does go through an approval process to make sure it's legitimate. And once Facebook approves it, it will be published on your shop page. The final option is to determine whether it will be publicly visible or whether it's unpublished. So obviously, if you're wanting to get that product out there immediately, you'll select public. 
if you're still editing and still considering or waiting for stock to arrive, for example, you can put it into the unpublished mode and you can publish it when you're ready. And that's all there is to it. Now we're ready to head over to Instagram on the iPhone and set up our connection with our Facebook shop. And then we'll proceed to go and create our first post with a product tag. So here we are in Instagram. Now the first thing we need to check is that we, if we have multiple Instagram accounts, for example, a personal account and a business account that we've tapped on the top and we're actually in the correct account that we want to connect with our Facebook shop. Once we've ensured that, we can tap on the icon on the right hand corner top of the screen and that's depicted by three lines. You might have a message alert on there as well. We can tap on that icon and then at the very bottom of the page, you'll see an option for your Instagram settings. We tap that, we scroll down until we get to the linked accounts option. We tap on that and then you'll see at the top of the screen is your Facebook account. If you haven't already connected this in the past, there'll be nothing there. If you have, you'll see the name of your business page to the right hand side, which you can see mine there is Touch Technology Review. So if it's blank, go ahead and tap on it and then you'll see an option to link it up with your own branded account on Facebook. Now, as for the rest of it, you may not be able to complete this tutorial right away as you are relying on Facebook to come back with you with an approval to start selling products on Instagram by creating this product tag post. So this could take anywhere up to seven days, even I've heard cases of as much as two weeks for it to go through Facebook and Instagram's approval process. So there's really nothing else you can do but wait until this approval comes through and then you'll be ready to create your product tag post. So I've waited the required amount of time and now when I go to create a regular post with the plus icon at the bottom of the screen, I'll add my photo as I normally do, tap on next. And when you get up to the content writing component of the post, where you normally write your caption, you notice below the usual options are still there, including share with close friends and tag people, but there's now an additional tag products option. And this is the one that you've been waiting for. Tap on the photo and then you'll notice all of the products that you've placed in your Facebook store will be available as an option to add as a tag product in Instagram. Now, incidentally, you'll notice that if you tap on any area of the photo, Instagram will place a product pin that will allow you to target the location of your product within that photo. And this is great, for example, when you have multiple products in a single image, you can actually create more than one pin on that photo. It's ideal, for example, if you have a fashion image where you have shoes, a bag, items of clothing, etc. you can tag each item and link them independently to those products in your shop. So assuming you found your products in the photo and tag them appropriately, that's all you need to do. You can go ahead and share the post. And when you go ahead and preview your post on the timeline, you'll see a couple of things that distinguish this and differentiate it from a regular post. You'll see a little shopping bag icon on the bottom left of the image. And also you'll notice a little pin will appear where you place that product pin on the photo. And if you tap that pin, you'll notice it'll take you directly to your online store. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit me up with a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell next to subscribe and that will ensure that you're notified as soon as new video releases are made available. Also, if you did enjoy this video, if you got anything out of it, feel free to hit me up with a like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.